Hey folks, in this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating the world's smallest MIDI controller using Teensy and Arduino while discussing a common problem for musicians, the fear of missing out on the latest gear. It's a constant battle always thinking that the next piece of equipment is the key to unlocking your best work. But today we're gonna break this cycle and create something really cool. Let's get started. Here are the components you'll need for the build. First, a microcontroller. I'm using Teensy 4.0, but you can use any Arduino or Teensy that supports the Control Surfaces library. I'll leave links to everything in the description, including a list of compatible boards. We'll also need a couple of breadboard jumper wires and a breadboard. This is going to be a solderless build so that we can reuse the Teensy for future projects. And finally, we'll need some breadboard push buttons. I had some extra caps lying around, so I added those for flavor, but they are optional. This build is incredibly easy. Both buttons are connected to ground on one side and the other side of one of the buttons is on pin 13 and the other button is on pin 23. Let's talk a little bit more about gear FOMO. The temptation to get the latest musical gear is powerful. When I saw Teenage Engineering's new calculator sampler, I was like, then I was like, but then I was like, even without new gear, I'm willing to bet we can create extraordinary things with what we already have, and it might even outshine the shiniest of new toys. Teensy and Arduino open up a world of possibilities. With these tools, we can build compact MIDI controllers, synths, and other musical devices that let us break free from the fear of missing out and instead focus on making something unique tailored to our needs. It really is a win-win. Once everything's wired up, it's time to add our sketch in Teensy Duino. I'm gonna pop the directions up on screen in case this is your first time working with Teensy and Arduino. I'll link in the description my previous MIDI controller build where I go over this part of the process in more detail. In addition to the two buttons, this script includes the ability to transpose the key with pins 10 and 11, and it has additional MIDI notes on pins zero through seven. You'll see why in a minute. The only downside to going solderless is that the connections are not as stable and the push buttons can bounce causing multiple triggers from one touch. If you were to wire up arcade buttons like I did in my last mini controller, those connections would be more stable. I think this project would be a great starting point for getting into making those larger builds. Once the sketch is uploaded to your device, it will be recognized by your computer as a MIDI controller. Now let's make some music with this thing. Inside of GarageBand, I have some virtual instruments created and I'm gonna be playing them using our MIDI controller. I said at the start of the video we were gonna make the world's smallest MIDI controller. Well, this isn't it. Warning, don't try this next part at home. You could fry your board or worse. Wait, what? We can go even tinier. By connecting a pin to the ground rail, we can tap on the other pins to close the circuit like triggering a button press. This isn't practical, but that ship sailed long ago. And here it is, the world's smallest MIDI controller. A testament to our ability to slap FOMO across the face and instead embrace the joy of creating something with our own hands. The next time FOMO tries to take hold of you, remember, you don't need to buy them shits. You already got a closet full of shits. Build something extraordinary and let your vision come to life. And that's it. Hopefully this video inspires some people to get started tinkering and let me know down in the comments what piece of gear you really want, like really, really want, but you are not gonna be buying. FOMO no mo. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Pew. Pew.